So that's my 2006 Acura RSX Type S. I absolutely adore that car. I've owned two of them in my life so far. I've planned to modify this and turbo it, but I have way too many car projects going on right now between doing other case swaps and other things going on. And now we have the Integra Type S that has been leaked. So. So we kind of knew it was coming because there were rumors and we saw some information of Acura actually trademarking the Integra Type S name. We have a document on screen. It's available online to everyone on August 20th of 2021. But it is now official. Acura is producing an Integra Type S. Now, I would be lying if I said I wasn't a bit let down from the relaunch of the Integra in general. I was somebody who was excited about it and then kind of let down when I saw it. The car itself, I think, looks great. I just feel like maybe it didn't deserve the Integra nameplate because it didn't stand out enough from the other cars in the lineup and the other cars that it was potentially replacing. So it really did not catch my attention. But now moving on, here is the photo by, it looks like we have watermarks of all for BWB and all car news that was dropped in the past couple of days. You could see those massive triple center exhaust tips, similar reminiscent of that Civic Type R look. We have other photos that I'll be putting on screen as well. Now, like I was saying, I was a little bit let down on the Integra itself. As someone who just purchased a 2006 Acura RSX Type S not that long ago, within the past year, and I was looking to modify it, I felt like this did not attract to me. It might attract to some folks, but as that passionate car enthusiast, it really just didn't do it for me. Now, the Integra Type S is going to be made off a similar platform of the Civic Type R, kind of how the A-Spec current one is built off of the SI, the Honda Civic SI. So I'm excited for this because the Civic Type R is one of the best front wheel drive vehicles for the price. Actually around the Nürburgring, I believe it held. And I think just recently it's maybe, I believe I was looking at a website number three. The two other cars are not even sold in America to my recollection. It's either the fastest or was, and is still one of the fastest front wheel drive cars. It just shows how Honda is able to dial in and fine tune both the power delivery and the handling aspect of cars. And this Acura should not be far off from that. It might get a little bit of extra weight gain, just how the Integra has a little bit extra weight than the Civics. But I think if you're interested in an Integra, something that's a little bit more sporty, this might be the option for you. Now, the big question is, what power will it make? Will it come with an automatic transmission? Honestly, power, I don't know. Uh, I haven't looked into the whole Civic Acura thing, but from my knowledge, the Integra is probably going to mimic the Type R. It's most likely going to have the same engine, same power. I don't think it's going to be like the GR Corolla where they brought it to the US and they put more power because it added more weight. That's because we don't even have the Yaris. And I'm bringing that up because I was genuinely interested in the GR Corolla, but that's going to be almost impossible to get at a good price. And I'm someone who I'm not going to go to a dealership and just pay over MSRP because the market demands it. I know supply and demand is there and folks with deeper pockets are going to pay that money. But I feel like the Integra Type S is going to be a much more attainable vehicle at the price point. You might actually be able to pick it up at a decent price. And what I mean by decent price, I'm talking MSRP. Maybe by then prices will actually be able to go down and you could bargain more. But vehicles like the GR Corolla, I feel like those are gonna be holding its value and markup value that unfortunately in the US, all these dealerships who are smoking crack and throwing five, 10, $20,000 markups on these cars, that's what's going on here. That's going to happen. But I feel like the Integra Type S hopefully will be more attainable for the price point. As far as will it have an automatic, I don't know. The A-Spec, that's one of the big standouts. It has an automatic. Now, Acura, people were curious and wondering, is the CVT that they have in the normal vehicle is going to be able to put up with the Integra, which has a little bit more power than the other vehicles with the 1.5 liter? And they said it would. It would put up with it. But now pushing it to type R level powers for the Integra Type S, I'm not too sure. 
I would like them to stick with a manual only with this one. And it kind of goes against the usual. If you're coming from like the Audi, uh, Volkswagen world, I had a Golf Arm, those things, when you get a DSG, they could handle a ton more power than the manuals before you need to start upgrading clutches and all that stuff. Where nowadays these other cars, like the Integra, for example, apparently it's the automatic that's a little more prone to not putting up with too much power from what I've read. So we'll see. But at the end of the day, upgraded clutch, not too expensive if you want to modify it. I know me, myself, if I were to get this car, which I'm really looking into it now, considering the truck roll is probably going to be a little too crazy expensive in dealership markups. This car did not catch my attention at all. And I mean the Integra. But now with the Type S, I'm actually genuinely excited as we start getting more information about this vehicle. Yes, it might weigh a little bit more, but you're going to get some more creature comforts. So my girlfriend just picked up an Acura TLX A-Spec, and it looks really, really nice inside. One of the big standouts was it's got heated and cooled seats. So these are the little things, the extras that you might receive in the Acura that you might not get in the Honda, in the Civic. You might get cooled seats. You might get all these little items. Now, I don't even know if the Civic Type R is going to have it or not, but I believe the Acura obviously being that more luxury sport brand or the Type S being the sporty brand might have some more of what folks are looking for while just having a tiny bit of a slower vehicle, a little bit heavier. But overall, I think it's going to be an amazing car. I'm really looking forward to it. I want to hear from you guys. Drop a comment. Let me know if you're excited about the Integra Type S, if you were excited about the Integra in general, or if you're like me, where when the Integra was uh, came out, when it was revealed, it was a big letdown. I did not look into it whatsoever after I saw the reveal, but now I'm a little bit more hyped up about this Integra Type S. I'm going to be keeping my eyes peeled and my ears open to see what we can get more information about this. I would love to add an Integra Type S to the channel, because if we do... You know we're going to be going crazy. I already have a 124 Spider with a bigger turbo, and we're going, we're doing a lot with that. The second one is getting a K24 swap, and then the RSX Type S. But we're going to have to see. You know, I might have to let that one go. I love that vehicle, but I might have to let the 2006 Acura RSX Type S go and uh, get some funds together to maybe start saving up for this one. If you're interested, check out drivendistrict.com for some really cool car merch, apparel, gifts for car enthusiasts and everything, especially with the holidays around the corner, some performance parts, and hopefully in the future, this new Integra Type S will get some work on it. Get it built going, and we'll uh, just document the process. So subscribe for more if you're interested. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.